Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Volcker Report. This end of day precious metals report is for trading on Monday, August the 8th, 2016. Looking here at the daily chart for the gold futures, you can see it's bouncing nicely off of the trend line support, which is exactly what you like to see, especially in an oversold scenario. So as long as the market can stay above 1331.20, uh, the gold future should be fine to head back up toward the 1360 uh, resistance. And so this is, you know, still a nice, uh, a nice pulse wave positive situation. It's been in a pulse wave positive situation, uh, as you can see here, for several weeks, and it's just looking nice. This is what you like to see. Uh, developing here in, in the precious metals when you're looking um, to find continuation and right now that's what you're seeing uh, not a lot of action on Monday pretty quiet tame day in the markets overall not a lot of action nothing really to write home about but definitely something to watch uh, don't forget to for your um, for your weekly pulse wave price triggers and alerts you want to head over to the uh, website link uh, is below the video uh, that will take you directly to the website so that you can uh, view the alerts for the markets that we cover here in the Vulcan report especially you want to take note of like Bitcoin and uh, you know gold and silver the miners things like that take a look at those alerts because those rally alerts and crash alerts mean a lot you definitely want to um, be privy to that and know where those price points are where you will likely see a lot of action a lot of price action and that's what we that's what we look for because price pays nothing else pays price pays all right moving on to the next slide here all right looking here at the GLD going over to the equity side of things market is well supported uh, here and that's what you like to see all right looking here at the um, <clears throat> support level is at 126.18 it's well supported you like to see that even though it looks like it's dropping off a little bit same scenario oversold here and so I'm expecting for this to uh, you know to pop up here and uh, it's looking it's looking good it's looking solid even though we didn't have a lot of uh, price action today like I s stated earlier with the uh, on the future side of things you know pretty much the same thing just not a lot uh, going on right now and the good news is we don't um, you don't have any negative alerts which is good so uh, we'll just have to watch this one and see how it plays out see what happens all right looking here at your miners uh, same situation well supported at twenty eight dollars and sixty seven cents and it's starting to come up here on the momentum side which is great it's just testing that trend line here at 29.86 we like to see it bounce from there and not uh, fall any further uh, but if it does it could, it's, it, the market can sustain a support for the further pull back into the 28.67 zone and still maintain its overall bullishness which is what you like uh, to see that, that shows the strength and health of a market just like it did back here where uh, it violated the support only to come back up again and hit new highs and that's good for uh, a bullish market looking here at the minor junior same situation markets well supported forty five dollars and ninety four cents momentum popping up a little bit and again same same scenario these these charts you'll notice they're they're identical for the most part uh, you know it's one of those situations where you like to see when a market is really getting powerful you'll see uh, gold and you'll see you know it in a bullish upward thrust then you'll see the GLD and you'll see the miners and the junior miners all moving in tandem that's a really strong uh, strong market and that's what you really like to see going forward here all right take a look here at pretty Ricky pretty Ricky is uh, continually um, holding its own here you know it pulled back a little further on Friday but as you can see now it's coming off of that those lows you really want to stay stay above the 1032 price zone 
And if we can do that, then Pretty Ricky should be able to uh, get himself together and head back up again. And that's what you want. You want to see uh, Pretty Ricky move in tandem with the uh, other gold miners, and that would be great if it can continue to do that. Market still looks strong up in here, which is great. It can sustain a, full, a, full, a, full, uh, a further pullback to the $9.40 uh, trend line support, which is this orange line right here and still maintain its bullishness so uh, this will be a good test whenever you see uh, you know profit taking like this when the markets pull back it's it's a good test to show the strength of that particular market so like I was stating a moment ago you like to see pretty Ricky move with the uh, the gold miners and you want to see the charts look similar if that can happen then you're developing an enormous bull market and that's a that's a great thing if you're bullish that is if you're short then it's a painful thing all right looking here at the silver futures silver futures got it, it pulled back a little bit further here it's oversold but it pulled back further really testing that trend line support of 1952 it came within one penny it hit 1953 so it came within one penny of hitting that before bouncing so if it can uh, get some legs underneath of it, that would be great. We don't want to see a, a locking in starting to build. That you don't want to see. On a daily chart, doesn't mean as much. On the, uh, on the weekly chart, though, it would be a problem. And as you can see here in the long-term chart, that's not the case. It looks like it's trying to fall off here and go to the 1829 uh, trend line support right here. All right. We can sustain that and, and the market will still be strong. Right now, momentum's kind of neutral, all right? But it's showing signs that it could uh, fall further, possibly. But it's really just caught up in this range. And this is a wide range. We got to keep it real here. We're, what's going on with silver? Silver's caught in a trading range of $21 to $19. So it's basically trading in, in a wide $2 range and really not breaking out of that range. All right, so that's pretty much what's really going on here at the end of the day. You don't really see any major uh, price swings outside of that zone. That's where we are. And, it's, and we've been this way now uh, for a little over a month. Okay, so here it is right here. All right, so really nothing to be too shook about. All right, moving our focus now to the equity side of things, looking at the SLV. All right very interesting here on the SLV on Friday uh, we we did touch the 1871 trend line support it that was the actual low of the day uh, coming to today we have 1871 hanging in there we hit 1873 but it still finished weaker on the session so the SLV is you know looking a little bit weaker like it really wants to point to the downside of things like it's trying to give us a little heads up that it may want to do that but keep in mind all things being equal the SLV you know we just hit a new 52 week high here okay so it's coming off of that so this is still an extremely bullish scenario that is in play here can't ignore that momentum's trying to pump up you know pick its little head up a little bit but overall still bullish um, it's just flirting with the trend line. It could come down to the 1797 trend line support and still maintain its bullish stance and it's still above the, the Kumo cloud. But overall, keeping it real here too, we are in a long, you know, sideways market. We're in a trading range and we really haven't broken out of it. Right now we're just trading toward the, you know, the low end of the range. All right. So, you know, that's really just all that's happening here. All right, looking at the switching our focus to the miners now. Silver miners is well supported at 48.15, and it's looking really good. The mi the silver miners here are looking really good. the The miners are actually, you know, leading the way on the physical right now. The miners are looking better than the silver physical. We have to call it what it, what it is. Momentum, a lot more momentum coming here. This is looking better. All right, so this is this is a good indication. Um, if, if your miners are starting to, to pull away from the physical like this, that's, 
that's an even stronger, um, you know, sign and evidence pointing to a much more powerful bull market in the making in the underlying physical. Just something to think about. Looking at your junior miners, same thing here. Junior miners are moving in suit with the with the big boys, which is good. And again, pulling away from the trend line. That's what you like to see. All right. So now it's it's gunning back for this uh, 1927 high. This, like I said, is something you have to take note of because this could point to further price expansion on the long term, which means that silver, the the precious metal, the actual commodity itself can shoot far, much farther than our price projections may indicate if the miners are moving ahead of it. Just something to think about. I'm just looking at the pure technical picture here. Nothing about fundamentals. Just looking at what the chart is suggesting. That's it. Uh, so we, 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 we leave it with that. Um, so remember, bulls make money. Bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. So remember to take what you can and give nothing back. And uh, if you want uh, more information on where those pulse waves are for the week, along with any uh, price alerts, you know, rally and crash alerts, head over to the website and uh, check that out so you can, uh, you know, be up alerted when those come out. Go ahead and subscribe um, to the website so that you can uh, be alerted when those um, price points are updated um, that way you don't have to wait for a video uh, to get the information you can get the information as soon as it is updated you'll you'll be alerted to that so you want to go ahead and register so that you can do, you can get those uh, those price those price waves uh, another way to get them even quicker than that is to become a member of the black ops trading room uh, right now uh, that is free. Uh, there's no charge for that. And the pulse waves are the same thing. I, I put those out uh, free of charge, of course, for now. Um, so come on over and take advantage of it. Get it while the getting's good um, because it will no longer uh, you know, be free right now. Uh, so that you can get a feel for it and test drive it. You can go ahead and put your hands on it, check it out. Uh, you know, kick the tires, if you will. And then, um, you know, you can have these uh, pulse waves tailored to your portfolio and what it is that you're looking at and um, have at it. All right. So also uh, take note, too, of the backup channel. Um, I've created a backup channel, Black Ops Trading uh, backup channel. So do me a favor and go ahead and uh, subscribe to that. Um, just per adventure, if any mischief were to happen and this current channel were to go down for whatever reason at least uh, I would have that backup channel there and you won't miss uh, you know the reports and what's going on alright so be encouraged and uh, thanks for your support don't forget to uh, you know to rate and subscribe and, and comment and all that good stuff peace